Hi guys, welcome to Cardiologist. In this video, we will draw together this pattern. As they say, no pain, no gain. So subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell to fill up your brain. When you open AutoCAD, start a new drawing, turn the drawing grids off, click on this arrow of OSNAP and check endpoint, midpoint, center geometric center and intersection. Click on F8 to activate ortho mode and F12 to activate dynamic input. Type units in the command line and make sure drawing units type is decimal, precision is zero, draw units is millimeter. Type LA to open layer properties manager and create a layer named pattern. Create another layer and name it Viewports. Click on the plot sign to make it unprintable. Double click the pattern layer to set it as the current layer, then close Layer Properties Manager. Draw a rectangle 300 by 300 mm. Click on this arrow and choose Chamfer from Modify Panel. Type D for distance, specify first chamfer distance 50 mm and the same value for the second distance. Select polyline and click on the rectangle to chamfer all sides one time. Draw 80 by 80 mm rectangle somewhere here. Select it and activate rotate command from modify panel. Place the cursor over any of the rectangle sides to display the geometric center mark. Snap it and type 45 for the angle. Move the rectangle from this point to this point. Draw one polyline from this endpoint mark to this endpoint mark. Select it and activate polar array command from modify panel. Snap this geometric center mark for the array center point and change items number to 4 and click on close array. Click on circle from draw panel. Select 2P from the command line. Snap this mark for the first endpoint and type 80 mm for the second endpoint. Select this drawing and click on Polar Array. Snap this center mark and change items number to 4. Select the array and click on Explode from Modify Panel. Delete the circle and draw a rectangle from this geometric center point to this point. Select it and activate trim command from modify panel. Follow me to trim and delete all objects outside the rectangle. Click on control plus one to open properties palette. Select the drawing and change the color to gray number nine. Go to Add-ins tab. Click on Multiple Offset. If you don't have this tool, click on App Manager. Then click Launch the Autodesk App Store website. Choose AutoCAD and type Multiple Offset. It's a free tool to download, but first, you will have to sign in or create an account. So in multiple offset window, we need to type 5 and click on enter, then type minus 5 and click on objects. Select these lines and click space, then close the window. If you don't want to use the multiple offset tool, you could use the offset command from modify panel for each line separately. Alright, delete all the center lines and this rectangle. 
Click on this arrow and activate boundary creation. Pick points here, here, and here. Delete this rectangle. Activate boundary creation again through the shortcut BO and pick these points. Type QSE to open quick select window. Make sure the property color is selected and change the value to color 9. Click on delete. Select this pattern and activate mirror command from modify panel. Snap this endpoint mark and click anywhere along this vertical path for the second point of mirror line. Click on space to end the command. Select the drawing again and activate mirror command but through the shortcut this time MIR and mirror around this horizontal path. Select the pattern and type X for explode. Select these lines. And delete them. Select the pattern again and activate array tool from modify panel. Change number of columns to 3 and the between distance to 380 mm. Change number of rows to 7 and the between distance to 380 mm. As I told you guys before, these patterns are usually printed through CNC machines on steel or wood sheets of size 244 by 122 cm. So draw a rectangle somewhere here, 2440 mm by 1220 mm. Make an offset of 50 mm inward. Select the pattern and explore it. Select it again and type J for join. Then move the pattern from this geometric center point to place it at this geometric center point. Trim and delete all parts outside this rectangle. Activate trim command through the shortcut TR. Press on space again in order for AutoCAD to assume all objects in the drawing area selected. Then follow me applying the tool all over the pattern. Select the whole drawing and type J to join all segments into one. Finally, select Hatch tool from the draw panel. Check solid pattern. Change the hatch color. Increase hatch transparency to 25. And select the pattern in this manner. Go to Layout Sheet, select the existing viewport and delete it. Right click Layout 1 and rename it to Pattern 04. Right click Pattern 04 and go to Page Setup Manager. Click on Modify. Change the printer name to DWG to PDF. Make sure Paper Size ISO Full Pleat A4 is selected. 
check scale line widths and plot transparency and make sure landscape orientation is selected then click OK and close type vport and click on space choose single and click OK click on space again for fit select the viewport and go to properties then change its layer to viewports I will insert the title block used in the previous tutorial. Open Pattern Drawing Tutorial 3 to copy the title block from there. Select the title block and its content. Type CO and select Copy Base. Click on this endpoint mark and go back to the pattern drawing. Click on Ctrl plus V for paste command and place the title block at this endpoint mark. Select the viewport and adjust the boundaries to be inside the title block. Click on scale from the status bar and check scale to fit. Then lock the viewport. If you can't find your logo in the title block, activate XREF command. Double click the logo status, locate your logo and click on open. Change the drawing title to AutoCAD Pattern Drawing Tutorial 04. Change the scale, date, and the drawing number to YT-CAD-APT-04. Click on Ctrl plus P to open plot setting. Click on Preview to check out the drawing before printout. Click on Print, choose a folder, Type the file name and click on save. Alright guys, here's our pattern drawing. Remember to subscribe to the channel and click on the alert button to stay updated.